my fellow crafters welcome back to my channel my name is david and today i'm going to be working with my new release again yeah it's sorry it's release week so there's going to be an overkill of my new collection but i love it um it's, it's so much fun that it's finally here so i'm going to be working today with these fun gears and i'm going to show a fun technique that i saw tim holtz use to make sort of patina paper really cool technique i'm going to show you how to do that at least let's hope it works um so I'm going to use the 2035 Get Into Gears uh, from the Art Journal Collection. I'm going to use this gorgeous die. I'm in love with this one. Um, uh, with all these little elements in there. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to use the base page. I'm going to show you a different way to use it. And um, I might cut out some elements. I don't know yet. Uh, these are the stars of the show. And then I will just add on to that. So um, I'm going to use these. So I've already cut out my base page and um, I've got another piece of the paper. The paper I'm using, oh, I forget that. The paper I'm using is the Grunchy Wood the, that came with the release. Uh, it's my first paper pack and I love it. Um, uh, it might look familiar because some of the wood grain that's in there was in the previous paper, um, but it's different. It's lighter, it's, it's different textures on top of it. Uh, I just used uh, that as a base to build up on. And then there's a lot of different new uh, papers in there as well with the music notes, etc. So um, that's that paper pack. So I'm going to use this and I might need this to trim up something else out. So we've got the ticket. Now, of course, you can uh, fold it like this. It lines up pretty easy. Just make sure the holes are aligned. Fold it, and then you can fold this one in as well, like that. You see? But I want to do it slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it back and forth, back and forth, and it's quite strong. It looks fragile, but you can do that many times. And I'm just going to rip that off. So I've got a separate ticket now. And I'm going to line that up right here, like so, and turn that into a little pocket there. You can do it in the center, make it a belly band, or it's, can it fit like this? Yeah, it can. I think I'll do it like that. And then what I'll do, I'll just fold it over here. So I'm just going to take out my as I said, I don't have a plan. I'm just going with the flow. So I'm just going to score that right here. And fold it back like so. So I've got a little, oh, this goes there. And that goes here. Line that up correctly, and then I've got a fun pocket that's going to go right there. You see? Cool. Right, what I'm going to do is, and what I might do actually, just come to think of it, I'm just going to take off a hair, just a hair from both sides, because then. You see that texture there, which is something that I like. So do it like that. You can also make it a flip flop again, but I'm not going to do that today. It's giving me, you know, just playing gives you ideas, right? Um, so I'm going to grunge this up with surprise, surprise, Freight Bella, because I think that color matches this beautifully. So you can use this ticket page as a whole, as a page, or yeah, tear it apart and turn it into pockets or use it as a loose ticket, stick it on there. You can do whatever you want. I think that's the beauty of it. I just always like to etch the, the fold as well, just because that helps it to 
yeah, visually to make it into two separate pages, but also it helps me with where to place items, etc., because it gives me a good view of the page. Now, yesterday I made this page. With, an, with the other set, but it just that's the beauty of this paper. It just all matches so beautifully. So it doesn't matter how you put it into your journal. It just matches. I love that. Okay, that's going to go there. That's going to go there. So let me just glue that down. First, do this bit. Like so. And then I will just put a tiny strip of glue just here at the corner or at the edge. Sorry, not corner. And put that right there. Love it. Love it. Now, what I'm going to do, just got an idea. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim out another page out of the same paper, but I want this texture on there. So I'm going to trim it out like this. So this piece will be onto my tear off part, so to say, from the ticket. So what I'm doing again, I'm tearing off this piece. just folding it back and forth, back and forth, just like a regular tick ticket. And then I will just tear this off. And that gives me my thing to go in there. I will just trim off a tiny bit at the top and the bottom, because now it's too high because I glued it down, obviously, but it should go in there. Bear with me. Yeah, just a tiny bit from the bottom. And that way it fits in here perfectly. So I've got now another page to go into my journal and I've got my tag ready to go into the pocket. So I've used my ticket die now to create a pocket and I've used it to create my tag. Now you can even take this one step further and that is to keep the ticket die intact. So this on here, trim of another ticket, make the pocket, trim of another page, make the tag that goes in there. So lots of opportunities. I'm going to do that as well because I like that idea. There we go. That's the basics of my page done. Yeah, I love that. Cool. Then what I've got here is a piece of um, mixed media cardstock and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use some different paints on that. I've got three colors of distress paints. I've got tumble glass, stormy sky, pine needles and I'm going to use that to create a background. So I'm going to shake these up well and then I'm just going to put some onto my mat. And I'm going to take a dauber and I'm just going to go 
onto my card. Oops. Never mind, it has to go on there anyway. I'm just taking that off. So I'm just putting on some blues and green. And the green is quite of a quite a bully, so I will just Blend that out a bit, like so. And then I will go back in with some blue. But that green will give it a nice patina look. I don't have salvage patina in the paint formula. Can you believe it? Or if I have it, I can't find it. So. For me, that's quite a miracle because, well, I just love my selfish patina, but, hmm. This way we can sort of create that ourselves. Just quickly gonna heat set that, dry that a bit. And I will just come in with the Deborah again. Making some lighter spots here and there. Blending that out a bit. And that will give me my base to work on. Okay, this needs to be completely dry. First, let me clean up my mess. Okay, when you use your heat tool, for before the next step, make sure your paper is cooled down because otherwise your paint, I'm gonna put a layer of paint over the top of this. And if you go too quick and it's still warm, your paint will dry too quickly and your, yeah, the technique will not work. Next, make sure you've got some paper towel ready because you need to move quick for the next steps. So I've got a piece of paper towel ready to go right on top of that. I've got my paint, which is the tarnished brass in the distress paint. And I'm going to use my distress uh, brush for that because it's, it's quite big. I can move quite quickly. So make sure I've got a good amount of paint on there and pick that up and quickly, very quickly apply this over my other paper, not other paper, over my other paints, I should say. Just quickly, I need a bit more, there we go. There we go, that's better. So, messy technique, yes. <laughs> Next, you will take your brayer, not your brayer, your water sprayer, and you spritz water on there. Just all sorts of spritzes, different sizes of water drops. Okay, now we can breathe. Now that's on there. I'm just gonna put my paper, my paper towel on top of that. And look at that. I just, I'm in awe. This looks fantastic. Beautiful background. I'm gonna use this to cut out my gears, but hey, it's a fantastic way to make a patina background. So thank you, Tim, for that technique. I just love it. And that's only possible because the distress paints are water reactive. Yeah, sometimes it's really worth it to watch the lives from Tim completely because otherwise I would have missed this technique. Love it, love it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my dies from the Get Into Gear collection, not collection, Get Into Gear set, and I'm gonna trim these out 
of this beautiful paper. It's almost it's hurting to cut into it, but I think I will have some left over. So that's cool. I will just run this through. So these are all nicely trimmed out. There we go. <laughs> if you're lazy like me, that's the best way to do it. <laughs> so look at those gears. Love them. Love, 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 love them. So they're going to go on here. I, I, I love this. So I've got this little screw. I don't know what these are called. Bread? Split pen in Dutch. <laughs> I'm going to put that through here. That's one. That's two. That little one is going there. Yeah, I'm going to do the same to this one. So that one's going to overlap that one. And then I've got these tiny ones. Will that work? Let me see. I'm pretty sure it will. Because these are tiny little screws. Do you see that? I just want that to work in here. And it does. Perfect. Just love this. And this one goes in here. So, yeah, that worked. Like that. Can you see them in my, in my element? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out um, the word time and my two butterflies out of this piece of paper that I've got left over. Just in case you didn't know that about me, I love butterflies. So that's why there are a lot of butterflies in this collection, stamp-wise and also in the dice. Um, just because you can never have enough butterflies, in my humble opinion. I just love them. And these are more, yeah, they're different than the ones that were there. Oh, oh. Love that. Okay, now it's time to start assembling. And I'm just going to, yeah play with uh, ideas that I've got in my mind. So I'm just going to go over these sides to crunch them up a bit. Not really doing much on the paint, but I think. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attach this butterfly onto my tag that I made. Just going to put that down. And you know what? I like it when this one peeks out a bit, so that's one. Now, this I want to put on here, the word time, that little banner. So I'm just going to put some glue on all these elements, like so. Put that to that corner. Then I'm just going to put some glue in there. And I'm going to take the letters. So I've cut out the same one in black. And I'm going to put them in there. Now you can also do a black matte layer behind it. That will work like the effect of an inlay. So again, different options to give different effects with the same die. That's what I like. You see this inlay effect is beautiful. So um, then this butterfly will go right here. And I will just glue it on the body. So it has some movement. There we go. Love that. Now with this, I can actually glue that down here, which is why not? I've got it. Since I'm going to be doing many projects, normally I would save it, but in the coming weeks, I'm going to make so many projects that need to be different. Um, so I will just use it now. It's 
smack in the center, like so. Again, put some glue in. Like so. And then I will just take my letters that I've cut out of this one and lay it in there. You see how pretty that is when you've got that inlay. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, let's put some things to the side. I'm not going to throw anything away yet. Because I'm just debating, do I want some texture behind here? And I think I do. So let's get my stencils out. And I think... Yeah, I love this one. So why not? I think what I'm going to do... So I'm going to use my the gold that's on there. Why not, right? And my dabber. Just to go through my stencil. Hold it in place. And there's also some still some green coming off, which is an added benefit because look at the effect that gives look at that oh love it love it right just here i want some of that yummy texture as well Ooh, I love it. I love it. Ooh, did I already say I love it? Love it. I love how this is coming together. Now, time to place my gears onto here. So, time to get into gear. <laughs> Sorry, no pun intended. Oh. I'm constantly talking to myself here, guys. So, if I'm losing it, that's because of that. Oh, this one even moves. I like that. <laughs> okay, then this one goes here, overlapping the other one. There we go. Then this one will go right there. And the way I designed them, oops, is that they, the tooth of the gears fit together. So you see like there, and of course our, the placement is now a bit off, but I can still manage to, there we go. So it really looks like they're grabbing onto each other. I just love it. Now, coming in with my really thin marker, I'm just going to give this an outline. Not because it needs it, but just because I like it. And I like the scribbly effect, to be honest. And I will also do that on the inside. And I will do the same here. Just go around. Now, what I think it needs is just a little sentiment in black. Black and white. And I've got a lot of sentiments here. Um, so let's have a look. There's a lot of silver, but I don't want silver now. I want black and white. There we go. I like that. It's going to go... On here, I think. Yeah. Just going to place that there. And there is my finished ticket page. So, 
So we've got the ticket. Then we've got the gears here with a beautiful patina effect. We've got the tag, the pocket, all made out of the ticket die. So this is the project for today. I hope you liked it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't done so yet, please consider to subscribe to my channel because that will really make my day. So thank you for watching this one. I love this. Okay, cool. Uh, let me put it in my journal, which always looks fun, right? So I'm going to break this one up. Just going to put that right there. Like so. Yes, love it. Cool. Well, guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, I had a blast and I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.